a small percentage of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed, so please take the time and subscribe to this channel. When I was a child, the best thing I know about Christmas, beside all the candy, was these snow globes. I could literally shake them all day and just watch the glitter fall down. Today, we'll make a simple low poly version of these iconic balls. In the end, you'll have techniques that allow you to create your very own variant of these snow globes. Get Blender ready and let's begin. Start by deleting the default cube. Add a simple beer can and crush it flat. Insert and extrude the top part a little so that we have room for the glass bill. Let's add a sphere. This would be the top part of the glass bill. Move it up and you know what? You can do this. I don't have to explain this. If it's your first time using Blender, then just follow along with me. All the key presses are on screen. Or maybe you should just go watch the donut tutorial. Okay, so now that we have half a minion, it's time to give it some thickness. Now you should name it. Come on, do it. Keep things organized. You can do this. Click your element and press H to hide them. Our snow globe needs a house, so buckle up, it's going to be fast. Add a cube. Move the top face up. Scale it down. Make loop cut. Insert faces. Scale faces on axis. Select all. Scale down on X and Y axis by pressing Shift C. Add loop. Bevel line with Ctrl B. Insert face. Extrude inwards. Make a roof. Separate by pressing P. Choose selection. Change this menu to normal. Move along the right axis. Just press X, Y, uh, C till it works. Give it some thickness. Scale it over the edge. I bought its top so it's kinda even. Beautiful. Now it's time to add some materials. I only use diffuse materials in different colors. It gives it a dollhouse playful look I really like. I use blue, kinda red and a darker blue. Beautiful. Now we'll create a tree. I don't even bother to talk you through it. It's really simple. You can skip this part or just watch my speedrun. Now we'll assemble this bad boy. Start by placing the house where you want it. Now duplicate and scale your trees so it looks like you have put a lot of effort into it. Just like Picasso, you're an artist. That was not hard to do, right? Moving on. We need a backdrop for our scene. Add a plane, scale it up, extrude an edge, and bevel this line. Choose all to smooth. Add your favorite color to the backdrop, or just use my light blue when everything else is ugly. Add a camera so that we are able to render our art piece. Turn on camera to view, press numpad 0 and line it up. Render settings. You are allowed to follow my settings or invent your own. I don't care. I like squares and cycles. Now it's time for some. If you are like me and don't understand lighting at all, then I have the solution for you. You can use this three point lighting system thing. I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right. The theory is one light to the right, one light to the left and one light behind. Use 1000 watts and circle in spotlight settings. Good job, you're now an artist. I don't like the Moving this and this and also this, changing some values, pretending like I know what I'm doing. This is definitely not a voiceover. Now 
Now we are done. But let's make it look better. Go down to color management and up the contrast. Change colors you don't like and play with the gamma. Render. Done. Row. Epic animation. So good. Very movie-like-ish thing. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll probably see you around soon.